Welcome to this video, where we look at the important characteristics of rails, a component that is the key part of, and gives the name to the railway. These characteristics have driven the development of both, the design of rail, in terms of the cross-section, and the steel from which they are manufactured. It is a meeting of both engineering and metallurgy disciplines, to create rails that meet the demands of the railway as it evolves. First, let's summarize the characteristics, then we will look at each one, in turn, in more detail. The characteristics are 1. To provide a hard, unyielding surface to carry train wheels. 2. To act as a beam and transmit wheel, and thereby train, loads to the sleepers. 3. To act along with the wheel surface to steer the trains. 4. To be able to perform secondary functions within the systems of other railway disciplines. Those are the four characteristics and functions that a design of rail needs to provide to be effective when installed within track. Now let's look at these in more detail. Before we do, can I please ask a favor? If you are finding this video useful please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. This helps me grow the channel and keep producing these videos. Thank you. So, now let's look at these characteristics in a bit more detail. First up. A hard, unyielding surface to carry wheels. The primary function of the rail is to carry the wheels of the trains. These wheels have a rigid steel tire which contacts the rail. The rail must be made of a material that is hard and unyielding so that it does not rut or deform under this load or contact. This function has remained the same since the first conception of railway tracks. Next, the rail itself has to act as a beam and transmit the load of the train from the wheels to the sleepers and the rest of the track system. As the rail is the surface that directly contacts with the wheels of the train, the load of the train is transferred to it as the trains pass. This load is concentrated in a relatively small contact patch. The rail then distributes this load downward through the rest of the track system, firstly to the sleepers and then to the ballast. The surface area of these two components increases, distributing the load over an increasingly larger area. This creates the loading triangle you may be familiar with. An important thing to also take into account is that, on sleeper track, the rail is only fully supported at set intervals. These intervals are where the rail sits in the base plates, on the sleepers. In the space between the sleepers, where the rail is unsupported, it deflects under the load of the train. This creates bending and shearing forces in the rail. Therefore the design of the rail needs to be such, that these forces are resisted, and do not permanently deform or damage the rail. The third characteristic is that the rail needs to act with the wheel surface to assist in steering the train around curbs. The design of the gauge corner of the rail, especially its radii, is such that it is geometrically compatible with the design of the wheel tread and flange. When it comes to curves within the track, the interaction between the rail and the wheels, respective profiles help, along with the cant of the track, to steer the train. Lastly, new designs of rail must be such that they are able to undertake or perform certain secondary functions. Given that rails are a fundamental part of the rail, therefore always present, they are also utilized by other railway disciplines. The other disciplines utilize the conductive properties of the steel from which the rail is formed to convey currents. A key example of this is in track circuit train detection systems, critical part of the overall signaling system for the railway. They are also used by the returns for OLE and other traction systems. So there we have the fundamental characteristics of a rail. You can see that each is as important as another. It is also good to remember that rails have secondary functions as well, that are critical to other parts of the railway system. I hope you have found this video interesting and informative. 
If you want to find out about other railway components, there are other videos on the channel covering sleepers and ballast. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.